Hey, how's it going guys? Is that I here? So we got some very, very exciting news from Bethesda, mind you. Far more exciting than any of their recent games that they've been releasing, unfortunately. But nevertheless, we got some information relating to Fallout 4. Next gen update is here, or at least it will be here in following two weeks. Yes, return to the Commonwealth April 25th. Learn more about the Fallout 4 next gen update coming to console and PC. And additional free content for all players in the wasteland. This information I just noticed on X or aka Twitter and as soon as you go into their official site, official page, this is how it goes. Fallout 4 is getting free updates. Return to the Commonwealth April 25th. Fallout 4 upgrades are coming to next-gen consoles and as such to getting into specifics. Bethesda Game Studios is releasing a free Fallout 4 update for download on Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. This free update includes native applications for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, performance mode and quality mode settings, as well as stability improvements and fixes. Experience up to 60 FPS and increased resolution. Fallout 4 players on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will also receive free update with stability improvements, login and quest fixes. To download the update on next generation console, you must own Fallout 4 for that device. Awesome. I'm still curious to see how much can they really improve since this came out back in 2015 and now it's been, what is it, like reaching 9 years? Oh, just to think about that is quite insane. But nevertheless, let's continue. Updates for PC players. We're also releasing a free Fallout 4 update for PC players. Experience Fallout 4 on your next generation PC with widescreen and ultra widescreen support, as well as fixes to creation kit and a variety of quest updates. Players with PC versions of Fallout 4 on Steam, Microsoft Store and GOG will receive stability mods and bug fixes. For Japanese and Chinese language players on PC, Bethesda.net, login issues have been resolved, fixing access to mods. Alongside this exciting update, Fallout 4 will be available to purchase on the Epic Games Store. Fallout 4 will also be Steam Deck verified. Now, this is all great news. In addition, by, by the way, we actually got an opportunity of seeing some screenshots of what you will see from this next generation update for the Fallout 4. Now, there's more info, even more content. There's even more content in Fallout 4 updates, including the following free creation club items. Enclave Remnants. Enclave Remnants brings the pre-war Cabal and the Enclave into the Fallout 4 storyline. In this new quest, Echoes of the Past, can you stop the Enclave from spreading their dangerous ideology and gaining a foothold in the Commonwealth? Along with the workshop items and the Enclave colonial uniform, we're including the following previously released Creation Club content, and as such goes. Enclave Weapon Skins, Enclave Armor Skins, Tesla Cannon, Hellfire Power Armor, XO2 Power Armor, Heavy Incinerator. Now there's a little bit of extra mention that makeshift weapon pack. Ever thought a piggy pack would make a great weapon in pinch? This weapon packs includes a variety of unconventional objects that have been transformed into deadly weapons such as baseball launcher, a nail gun, and a piggy bank. <laughs> Curious to see how this really will work in the game. Extra things like a Halloween workshop, leftover from the ill-fated Halloween party thrown by the New England Technocrat Society. These 38 new Halloween decorations include witches, cauldrons, ghouls and more. Decorate for Halloween or make your settlement spooky all year round. And that's it. This was the whole article and what we can expect from Fallout Next Gen Update. This is very much exciting. I'm definitely going to be booting up my console on PlayStation 5 and experiencing it for myself. I'm curious to see how the save system will work. I think it will be the same thing as it was done in the Skyrim, uh, the anniversary edition of that anyway. That was available for the PlayStation 5 and the Series X and stuff. So. I am very much glad the way we got this information because the first time we actually heard anything relating to Fallout 4 next gen update was actually back in 2022. Then there was unfortunate delay that was supposed to this, well, this upgrade was supposed to release in 2023. 
but again it kind of made sense why since we're actually getting and actually has already been released of this fallout tv show now i'm hearing praises all over the place and like a lot of people are absolutely loving the show and you know what i'm definitely going to be checking it out and watching it for myself April 25th can't come any sooner. It's a little bit disappointing that the time when it does release, I actually will not be here. I'll be going on my own trip and I will be right then and there back on 26th. But then there's a little game coming out, Stellar Blade. So I don't know how am I going to get the time to play both these titles. Nevertheless, it's still going to be an exciting time. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.